Hello and welcome to Tidbits for the Journey. I wanted to share with you the reason why we bought four RVs in the short span of 29 months. So watch and come along as I go over these four RVs and why we bought them. Number one on our list is a 2020 Soul Horizon by the company called Intec. I grew up camping and we had a trailer as a kid and uh, we would go to the beach and my family every year would look forward to our vacations in that little uh, travel trailer. But I knew as an adult, as life was passing me by, that I wanted to again get back to camping. And this little trailer was the perfect unit for me to get back into that. After a lot of research and spending a lot of time looking at various small travel trailers, I knew I wanted this one. It was lightweight, it was short enough that I could fit it anywhere, and it would easily tow behind the Audi SUV. And so this was a perfect way for us to start camping again. This trailer was so much fun and we took it everywhere. but. It was a little small. It did have a wet bath and um, it had a full kitchen, had a queen size bed, had an outdoor kitchen, which we loved. It was such a fun little trailer. But as the family grew, we got a couple new puppies and we discovered how much we enjoyed camping. We decided to start looking for something that would suit our needs a little bit better in terms of size. So we began casually looking for a bigger trailer. We did know that if we went bigger, we would have to get a different tow vehicle. So we took that into consideration as we began looking. As we began our search for a larger trailer, we found a model that we really liked the floor plan of. And one day we happened to see an awesome deal uh, on a trailer in Mississippi. Um, in fact, it was such a good deal that we made a phone call and immediately left a deposit. The deal was so good that we were able basically to transition from our little trailer and move into this uh, larger trailer and the financial aspect of it was about a wash.
We loved this trailer and it was beautiful and we really thought it would be the last trailer that we would ever need. So we began camping, we spent much uh, more time in the campgrounds and we began to notice other RVs as well. And I remember we were up on the Oregon coast and we happened to see a beautiful fifth wheel that um, caught my eye. And actually the owners had just got it and they invited us in to show it. And I immediately fell in love with the design of it. And we knew that we'd gotten such a good deal on this Eagle that we could sell it and possibly even make a profit. And so we thought if we can get into this new one for about the same price, why wouldn't we do it? We decided to do it. While we were up on the Oregon coast camping, uh, we discovered this fifth wheel made by Jayco that we fell in love with. And so the thought and idea was planted in that campground for us to start looking for this unit and see if we could find one on the market for a good deal. And we found a gently used one and the market was hot due to COVID. Everyone wanted to go camping. So I was able to sell, we were able to sell the Eagle and jump into this new fifth wheel for just a, a less than a $5,000 difference in price. And um, I had to pick this up in uh, Myrtle Beach, but it had been lovingly and meticulously maintained and cared for by the sweetest of families. I had a wonderful trip traveling and bringing this home across the U.S. and it was a really cool experience. Um, and I decided after pulling this fifth wheel that definitely a fifth wheel was the, uh, the trailer for me uh, in terms of driving it and pulling it and I liked the ride and the size and um, so we were very very happy with this setup. So if we were so happy with this fifth wheel and it was the trailer that we wanted, why then did I get a new fifth wheel? And to answer that question, uh, a little background. When we were looking during COVID and we wanted this particular model, we uh, found you know the used one which we purchased, but it wasn't in the color scheme and it didn't have a few of the upgrades that this newer model had. But the whole time, we kind of had kept our eyes out for the one that we really wanted in terms of color and the year. So um, we happened to come up across this. It was online. It was at a dealership in uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. And we made a phone call and we said, this is what we'd like to offer. And they accepted our price and 
that this ended up being an extremely good deal and we were able to sell um, the other fifth wheel almost uh, within weeks. I ended up having another road trip across the U.S. and this time Sal met me in Colorado and we made a vacation of it. And I will leave a link to that in the description below. So I guess to summarize, we bought four RVs because it took us that many to decide what we really wanted. And do I advocate doing this? I think a better way would be to rent until you discover what you need. I think that the majority of people don't even really know what they want when they begin RVing. And it may take a couple RVs for you to really decide what you need and what works best for you. And that's kind of the journey we took. The most important thing to remember is just to get out there and to enjoy these family moments, uh, regardless of what vehicle or tent or RV you have to do this. But the deals are out there, so keep your eyes open.